All right, folks, today we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Castle of Illusions for the Sega Genesis. Let's see if we can um, focus that camera here. Come on, camera. Do your job. There we go. Castle of Illusions for the Sega Genesis. And there is the box, the back of the box, the spine label right here. And there we go. We got the manual and the cartridge. You see the manual's a little beat up. It's been played quite a bit. And here we got the cartridge right here. Let's uh, check that out. Some cool looking stuff. Hey, right, let's zoom out here. Not in. All right, it's right there. And let's pop it into the Sega Genesis. Yeah, let's play this game. Let's see if there's any codes and stuff. Let's get a little gameplay sample. Here is the uh, intro. Oh, there is definitely Game Genie codes. And guess what? They have a Mega Jump code. All right, we might be doing that. All right, I'm excited now. All right, let's go here. Let's see if there's any regular cheat codes, and there is. Let's get a little few game gameplay samples here. Let's see if they show us uh, what the game looks like. <coughs> Excuse me, just out of curiosity. This came out in 1990, so this is a an older Sega Genesis game, but this is definitely one that they demoed back in the day quite a bit. Had a very different, you know, if they wanted to demo the, uh, Sega of America demoed this game a lot on TV shows and things like that. They, they would go on talk shows for technology stuff and they would demo this game to show off the uh, capabilities of the Sega Genesis. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit of brightness there. And, um... Yeah, this is one of the first Mickey Mouse games that came out on the Genesis. And, uh, you know, back then when this game came out, going from like an NES to that, it's like, wow, this looks like the actual real cartoon. It looks amazing. Alright, there's the title screen right there. Sick controls. Get the little intro before the game starts. We'll play the game a little bit regular before we uh, do the game machine. So you guys can see the difference. Alright, there we go. And he already jumps pretty high as it is. And apparently there's a code that makes him jump even higher. Just imagine. Look how high he jumps. And we got some apples. I'm assuming it would probably be a good idea for us to... You can definitely tell this is an earlier Mickey Mouse game on the Genesis, but it's the, uh, the scrolling on the levels seem a little like the frame rate doesn't seem as smooth as like you know some of the later ones. Uh, certain things here. Let's see. Uh, oh, 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 barely made it. Right, let's keep going here. And there's the end of that portion of the level. Oh my god, he fell to his death. Right, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second where the 
The frame rate looks a little clunky or weird looking. Right here, look at this. This looks weird. Not as smooth as, you know, Sega Genesis games or, uh, you know, later, later titles. Titles that came out, like, probably in the mid-90s, like 92, 93. I would say 93 and on. The games looked a lot smoother than that. Whoa, that was crazy. And I guess that's the end of the level right there. That was pretty cool. And here we go. We have like a spidery looking level over right here. And uh, these little guys right here, you'll see them in um, World Evolution also. They make their uh, return in that game. They, they're used in both games. And the graphics are close to the same in that game, maybe a little bit better. And there's the door, we can make it to the end. Some pretty cool platforming. And we already got some killer mushrooms here. I kind of want to try the Mega Jump code. This, you know, it would be perfect for things like this. Like, look at this. I can't get up there. All right, let's do it. Let's let's do the Mega Jump code. All right, here we go. We're gonna put in the Game Genie. And here we go. We got it over right here. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. All right, and it's not gonna work. Let's see if we can get that to work. There we go. All right, Game Genie. There is a master code that we have to enter. So there's one line of code that we have to waste. Oh, you know, there's... I hate when games have master codes because if you want to answer multiple codes, you're limited to only four codes. There is some games that actually have master codes, which already have two codes. Alright, so we're going to enter in these two codes right here. Alright, this next code I'm going to turn in. It's for invisibility. And so we can't die. We'll live a long time. And the next code we're entering is for Mega Jump. Or they call it Jump Higher. That's what they call it here. But let's be honest, it's the Mega Jump. And uh, the Mega Jump codes were quite popular on the Game Genie for Sonic the Hedgehog. You can literally jump extremely high. It's insane. All right, let's see if it works. So far, it's booting up without any issues. Sometimes when you enter Game Genie codes in, it will brick the game. You'll see some crazy stuff happening. It's been a few times on video where I bricked games with the Game Genie. All right, let's get right in. I can't wait to see how high he jumps. Alright. There we go. Let's try it out. <laughs> he jumped pretty high before. Let's... Oh my god! Man, he jumps pretty high. There's no platform that I can't get on now. Alright, well, let's get to the end. Man, he jumps really high. Look at this. <laughs> I'm jumping over like platforms and one then another plat. It's insane. All right, we made it to the end, and we're invisible too. I think so. We can get hit. 
and not die, which is nice. Alright, we're jumping so high that we have to kind of be careful how we, how we uh, land in some cases, like over here. Alright, there's the exit to that portion of the level, and then we're going to make it to the next level. This is pretty crazy. Alright, this is going to be hard to use with the jump. We have to jump very carefully here. If you tap the jump button, you will jump only a little bit here. Alright, we're almost where we need to go. And there we go, alright. We're doing pretty good. Alright, there we go. We can make it straight over here. Now we should be able to jump straight. Oh no, we can't still. Oh god. We have to go back. Oh, that shouldn't be a big deal. We can jump over here and make it over this way. Look at all these ghosts. Apparently we have to go this way. Alright. There we are, We're make, we made it all the way up here. And there's the exit. So you can breeze through this game using the game chain, which is pretty cool. And here we have a... Like a a boss. Nice little boss level here. I don't have any more apples, oh god. Oh man, so I run out, of, run out of apples, which kind of sucks. Alright, so that's pretty much that. There's probably a code to get unlimited apples. But, as you can see, I cannot kill this guy. So my items run out. That kind of sucks. That really sucks. There's also uh, a Sega Master System version of this game as well. So just for the hell of it, maybe we should just look at that real quick to see how it looks. Let's give that a try. I mean, uh, that was actually pretty cool. I thought the uh, Sega Genesis version was really, really nice. I liked it a lot for platforming. Uh, Alright, let's give it a try here. I know we have it on here somewhere. Castle of Illusions. Let's see how similar it is to the Sega Genesis version. You know, this, this version of the game, the Master System version, is probably a heck of a lot more popular over in um, Brazil and, you know, places like that. Down in Brazil, especially, and maybe over in Europe for a little while. So, I don't know, the Master System is quite popular in, in uh, Europe. And uh, I don't exactly know how quick the Genesis took, uh, took over Europe, but... Uh, the master system was around for quite a bit. 
And here we go. We have um, a whole bunch of shenanigans here. And you know what? That looks pretty good. I kind of like that better than the, Gen the Genesis version. What the hell? This actually looks really good. For an 8-bit console. I mean, there's, there's a lot of times where I like the Master System version better. Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, there is a practice mode. Apparently you can control them there. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how this is. What the hell? Are you able to do that in the Genesis version? I don't think so. It, oh, it, the uh, Mickey Mouse feels a lot smoother on the Sega Master System on this game than on the Genesis. It's weird. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe that the Master System it does appear to be different than the Genesis version. Look at this. I'm pretty sure that this level is probably probably in that game. Alright, well, I died there, but I'm pretty sure that that level's inside the Genesis version. I'm in some sort of capacity, but that uh, things definitely seem to be a little different. But so far... I honestly... I want to say it. I like the Sega Master System version better. Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure what to do here, but... Alright, let's go this way. I'm not 100% sure what to do here, but... Uh, this is pretty cool, though. I... Had no idea... That the, uh... Well, I, you know, I've actually played this before. i played the Master System version before. Uh, even though I do own the Sega Genesis version, I never really cared to play it that much. I just had it in my collection. And, uh, apparently... The Master System version's very different. And I died. <laughs> and there we go. So, this will give you a little example right there. So, nothing too crazy. And you can restart the game as well. And let's see if there's any gameplay samples. We'll just let it sit there for a second. I'm curious to see what the other stages look like in this game. Uh, it definitely appears to be quite a bit different. Uh, it has a very, very nice looking title screen. Came out in 1990 as well. And here's the manual for the Sega Genesis version. So there is a level over here that's kind of similar to what I, what I just saw on the, the Master System version. But this is a black and white manual. Hey, right, hopefully it gives us a gameplay sample here. We'll see if it does. If not, what we'll do is we'll look up. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna look up. The uh, 
Probably the Sig um, Sigam. Oh, what the hell am I talking about? We got some cheat codes here. All right. Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse. Let's see if it exists. Huh. This appears to be an incomplete list of cheat codes. It's a Castle of Illusion. Let's see if they exist. Cheat codes. Oh, no, that's for the uh, Master System. We don't want. Uh, that's for the uh, Genesis. All right. I don't think there is cheat codes. Sometimes you do uh, come across um, cheat codes. There is uh, action replay codes or game genie codes for this on the Master System, but I don't have that. So, that would be that. We'll probably end the video here. Uh, which which uh, game do you guys remember playing? I know some of, uh, of my Brazil uh, Game and Palooza Empire fans are probably going to remember this version. Uh, well, up in North America and US and Canada, you might remember this version. The Sega Genesis one. Um, I'm curious to know what people in Europe would have played the most. Did he play the uh, Master System version or did he play the uh, Genesis version? Uh, comment down below and uh, let me know what you guys think.